No. 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 Mm -mm. No? What do you mean, no? I mean, look, it's a masterpiece in terms of technique, but in terms of accuracy, it's far from it. What are you talking about? It looked exactly like you. It looks nearly like me, okay? See, there's one part of me that you seem to have dangerously forgotten. And what is that? My muscle definition. <laughs> muscle de you serious? Mm -hmm. Muscle definition. <laughs> Quentin, what muscle definition? August, a wise man once said, let the form dictate the content. Well, there's the content, albeit a tad underwhelming. And here's the form. I mean, come on, I'm basically an Olympic swimmer. Right. Well, while I would love to see you try your hand at Olympic swimming, I have some bad news for you. This is what you look like. Well, that's a shame. You know, as my creator, you, you should have known better. Could have made me better looking, but no. No, instead, you, sir, had to make me look like an off-brand Pillsbury Doughboy. But hey, what do I know? I'm just your imaginary friend, after all. Shoot, lunch is over already? Uh, Quentin, uh... I, I gotta run. My next class is on this side of campus. Okay, you gotta help me clean up. Oh, yeah. So, what you gonna do with all these drawings? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Mm. Suggestion pitch? Why don't you uh, burn them? Those are awful. I know you don't mean that, but words hurt, Quentin. Words hurt. So, was my muscle definition really not that prominent? I don't know. I hadn't really looked at your muscles in... Ever. I mean, I've been working out every single day while you're at school, and no change, nothing? Well, one thing's changed. You're more annoying. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we... Cut class. <laughs> Quentin, I can't do that. I have actual responsibilities to attend to. I'm not imaginary like you. Besides, knowledge is power. Am I right? That was deep. And original. You know, you should tweet that. Really? Well, you of all people should know that I'm not into that whole social media scene. Don't kid yourself. The only reason you don't have a Twitter is because no one would follow you. What is that supposed to mean? You having a Twitter would be like a motivational speaker speaking to a completely empty room. Or that time Clint Eastwood got in an argument with a chair. Alright, if you're gonna use pop culture references to insult me, at least choose one from the last two years. Otherwise, it's just lazy. Alright, Augie. Last chance. Wanna ditch? Quentin, I have to start doing well in school, all right? If you hate being here so much, you can go home. But I want to hang out with you. I never get to see you anymore. You're always busy with school or whatever else it is you do. I want to say bee farming. Do you bee farm? Q, look at me. I'm not ditching, okay? Now you can either stay with me or you can leave, but I will not listen to you whine all day. Okay, there's like 180 days in school year, right? That's 180 days where you get to walk through the store and sit through six hours of mind-numbingly boring content. So, you can either cave in and walk through the store, or you can do something meaningful in your life and ditch. It's up to you. Uh, Q, you know what? I, I still don't think this is a good idea. Maybe we should just... I don't 
don't know, maybe we should just head back. Head back? Head back. It is way too late to head back. Plus, what good has ever come from heading back? Tell me, did Abraham Lincoln head back? What? What does that even mean? You don't, you don't making any sense. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're saying whether you like it or not, so you might as well just suck it up and have some fun. All right, fine, but if, if we get in trouble, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna get a stern talking to. You're in talking to. Hold up, I'm, I'm getting a phone call. And, and he's not. Hello? Um, okay. Okay. All right, bye. Who is that? It's my mom. Ooh, dinner ready? A little early, but I suppose I'm kind of hungry. She said the school called her about my absence. And? Well. Well, I mean, it could be worse. At least you only got one day of detention. Really? It could be worse. Please, Q, tell me, how could this be any worse? Enlighten me. Well, you. Okay, point taken, but it doesn't have to be this way. We could sneak out, or... We could sneak out! Oh, it could be like Prison Break style, like... like the, what, what's that one show? Um, is Prison Break? No, um, uh... Gilgan's Island. Alright. Even if I wanted to stage a breakout, which I don't, I don't see any scenario where that would work out for us. Gotta be kidding me, come on. It could be like a spy movie. We could call it Golden Og, you know? I'll be Bond, you be Q. Well, okay. Back up. Wouldn't it make more sense if, you know, I was Bond because I call you Q? You. As Bond? Okay, come on. Let's be realistic. Don't touch me like that, don't. Okay. All right. If we're gonna do this, then we need a good plan. And I mean like, a really good plan, not like the plan that got me kicked out of the zoo, okay, or the one that got me banned from the okay, candy store. Okay, I set those up step by step on paper. I made a PowerPoint for that. Yeah, you and know what? You failed. You know what? I'm not gonna fight it with you about this. All right, you either have a plan or you don't. Okay, well, you're, calm down here. You're kind of putting me on the spot here. I didn't really think of anything, but I guess since you asked, the plan is called the diversion. <laughs> You need a distraction, and I'm going to be just that. While you sit here, I'm going to go up to the front of the room and distract everyone by crashing two, count them, two trash can lids together and wait. No. Okay, even better idea. I'm going to play the guitar and- You can't play the guitar. I can totally play the guitar. Anyways, while I'm shredding now using the guitar skills that I most certainly have, you're going to be sneaking out of the classroom. As the door slams behind you, everyone looks to see what happens. Then, when they realize that it's just the door, They'll look back at me, and I'll already be gone. Where did you go? Where did I go? Doesn't matter. By the time they gather a search party, we'll be long gone, sipping on cold soda and watching reruns of the Golden Girls. Uh, I don't know if I'm going insane, or if I'm just completely desperate to get out of here, but I'm in. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. Maybe the plan didn't go exactly how I'd hoped it would. I mean, you did get caught, and you did receive five more days of detention. But hey, uh, could be worse, right? Okay, look, I admit there were some major flaws in my plan. I mean, I did realize halfway through that no one can see or hear anything I do except you. But hey, look on the positive side of this. It's a learning experience. And isn't that in itself worth it? Quentin, I wouldn't even be here if you had just let me go to school like I wanted to. Oh, give me a break. Don't act like you didn't enjoy cutting class and having fun for once. All right, yes, yesterday was awesome. Is that what you want to hear? but it just wasn't worth it. I, I just got six days of detention, Quentin. I hate detention, and now I have six days of it. Nothing can make this worthwhile. August? You okay? 
You kind of look like something just happened that made this day worthwhile, even though you insisted that nothing would. Ooh, who's that? Stacy Elliott. Oh, so that's the cutie from our class you've been obsessing over. Hmm, I have to say she's a little more real than I thought. Kind of always assumed that she was a me type situation. Yo, August, if you stare any harder, she's gonna turn into stone. It's not like I can go up and say hi, you know? We're like on different ends of the spectrum. She's something, and I still have my imaginary friend. Ah, it's like a Romeo and Juliet situation. But pathetic, go talk to her. Think I should? All right, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to her. Yeah, you will. You socially inept sucker, you. Uh, hey, Daisy. Oh, hey, August. All right, uh, look, I know we don't talk much. This is gonna sound completely crazy, but- August Hughes, you are the most disgusting person on the entire planet! No, 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 no I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to! Okay, I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But if it did, you gotta admit, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I don't know why I'm so afraid. I, I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go talk to her! Um, hey, Daisy. Oh, hi. Liam, right? Yep. Oh my gosh, that was so much better than the puking thing. <laughs> she doesn't know my name. We've had almost every class together for the past four years, and she still doesn't know my name. Dude, I wouldn't sweat it. She probably just got you confused with someone else. Plus, it's not like you really had a shot anyway. <laughs> Liam. All right, well, that's enough talking for one day. August! August! Hey, hey, wait up! I want to talk to you. Hey, Mr. Forrester. What's up? I've been looking for you all day. There's something I wanted to show you. Okay, what is it? Well, I know how much you like my art class, and I thought you might be interested in this. Cool. What is it? It's the flyer for our Spring Arts Festival. Thought you might be interested. It says here it's student judge. Do you know who's judging? Yeah, it's going to be Dylan and Anthony from first period, and probably Daisy Elliott would be our third. I'm sorry, did you say? Daisy Elliot? Would that be a problem? Not at all. So, just remind me why we're doing this again? To win the art show. And you want to do that why? To impress Daisy. And do you have any idea of what you're going to create? Not a clue. All right, Q, just uh, let's, let's brainstorm, all right? Let's get the idea train rolling. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. OK, um, maybe we could make a sculpture that's a cross between John Lennon and James Franco. Oh my goodness, that's genius. Those hipster judges will eat that up. Quentin, that is the worst idea I have ever heard. We need something that can actually win. Why don't you take a look inside your inspiration journal, which once again, I still think you should burn because all those ideas are horrid. You're mean to me. Well, I am you, so deal with it. Um. We have a mosaic made out of other mosaics? Eh, too derivative. Um, oh, <laughs> you like this one. Uh, a sculpture of a brain holding a briefcase titled Mental Baggage. Eh, too surrealistic. I do appreciate the wordplay, though. This one just says pipe cleaner puppet. Oh, I, okay, I put this one in there. It's a really good idea. It's cheap. It's Quentin, really these easy. ideas are all terrible. None of them can even place. Well, at least I'm trying, okay? Isn't art supposed to be inspired by incomparable beauty or something? You're just doing it to get some girl? That's the thing, though. She's not just some girl, you know? She's... She's my kind of perfect. Yeah, that's... The worst thing I've ever heard you say. Oh my. <coughs> wait. Wait, Q. 
Say that one thing again. Ooh, the pipe cleaner puppets. Okay, look at this. It's no, the not the pipe cleaner puppets. We're not doing the pipe cleaner puppets, Q. That, that, the other thing, the thing you said about art. Oh, how art's supposed to be inspired by incomparable beauty. Q, I have an idea. Follow me. Quentin, come here. I need you to give me more water. Can you do that? Sure. Thank you. Jeez, Quentin, you have to be more careful oh, than that. I'm so sorry. Why can't you just stay out of the way for once? It's like you're the most reckless force in the universe. Look, I didn't mean to do this. Here, I'll help clean I up. I don't want your help, Quentin. You're only going to make it worse. I'm sorry, Augie. No. I'm sorry. Just... Just stay over there, all right? Just to be careful. What do you think? Ooh, that's good. <laughs> but you're better. Whoa. I'm so sorry. Daisy! Oh, hey, Liam. It's August. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with names. It's it's fine. Uh, don't worry. It didn't, didn't phase me at all. Is that for the art contest? Well, it's either that or I'm about to lose the bake off. Because it's not a baking item. It's a joke. Um, I'll see you in there. Yeah, see you in there. <laughs> that was quite possibly the lamest thing I have ever seen in my life. Life. Oh my goodness. That was like straight out of a bad 80s movie. A really bad 80s movie. What are you talking about? Oh, the whole, uh, I dropped my book thing. That was the most cliche thing. I almost wanted to vomit. Shut up. Come on, Augie, don't be like that. All right, all right. Um, how do I look? Am I too formal? I feel like I'm too formal. Uh, you're fine. Uh, let me just fix this. Uh, uh, where's your hat? My hat? Your hat. Oh, I forgot the hat. You forgot the hat. Oh, I should've brought the hat. Why didn't I wear the hat? I should've worn the hat! Ah! Okay, that's cool. Uh... All right, uh, Mr. Hughes, uh, what do you have to show us today? Oh, well, basically what I did was instead of a single piece, I decided to do an entire installation. Uh, basically what I wanted to do was take everything from the largest oak tree to the smallest daisy and show that it you know, can be beautiful. It's called the flower dances. Well, it's not perfect, but I can tell you put a lot of work into it. Yeah, the color palette is amazing. I absolutely love it. Good job, Mr. Hughes. We'll let you know shortly if you're placed. Yes! So, at it go. Really, really well, I think I think she really liked it. Dude, that's so killer! What do you say we go get some celebratory burgers, your tree? Sure, uh, let me just, uh, let me grab my stuff. Hey, Daisy, what's up? Oh, hey, August. Oh, I was just about to look for you. 
Yeah? Yeah, well, we didn't have very many entries and the deliberation didn't take very long, so congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations on what? You won. You got first place. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I didn't even think I would place. Uh, you know, um, I was actually just about to grab some lunch if you want to tag along. You know, I am feeling a little famished. <laughs> <laughs> so is that like a yes or? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, just <laughs> checking. So, August, tell me about yourself. Who is August Hughes? Uh, uh. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> there's just like so much to say. It's a pretty good question. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's start with this. What do you do besides art? Mm. Well, um, I mean, what else is there? you know, to do besides art. Okay, hold up. Uh, let me get pretentious for a second. Classic artist. Uh, so think about things you see every day, like buildings, or uh, a TV show, or a movie, or, uh, or this cup. You know, like, someone had to put work into it. You know? It, it's like an extension of themselves, if that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I talk to myself a lot. You're telling me. <coughs> get out! <coughs> You okay? Yeah, uh, just, uh, oh, cough. I'm recovering from a cold. A cold? Good one. You know, for someone who's always talking about you're not that creative. Sorry, there was an ant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that for? Whoops. Let me get that. Quentin, you need to leave. Come on, you know I'm just messing around. It doesn't matter. I really like this girl. You're just gonna mess things up. Oh, I'm messing it up. Sorry, I'm not the one imposing deep philosophical thoughts on her. Okay, you know what? Just leave. Just go home, all right? <sighs> Fine. But you have to bring back dessert. Fine, I'll bring dessert. Okay, no chocolate cake. I swear, if you come home and there's chocolate cake in your hands, I will literally flip out. Did you find it? What? Cup? Oh, yes, the cup. Yes, I did. It is right, right here. <laughs> so, August, <laughs> when did you start painting? Uh, well, I, I started, like, actually painting around four years ago, but I always used to do it in class, so I always wanted to try it. Only four years? I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, you're, like, really good. I thought it would have been, like, a lifelong passion or something. Um, well, I mean, it, it didn't start that way, but I guess it's kind of become one. Oh, I actually have a doodle journal that I draw in every day, if you want to check that out. What about you? Like, what's your passion? I don't really know yet. You don't know? Well, I'm young. I feel like I still have a lot to learn about myself, you know? Like, not that I'm saying I'm too young to have a passion, it's just... I just haven't found mine yet. I get that, you know, I got that whole free spirit thing. Very 70s, I like that. Um, Who is this person in all these drawings? Oh, that's just a dumb character I made up, so... Well, know. I really like them. Do you have anything else I could look at? Um, I actually have a few of my paintings up in the upstairs room of the art class. You wanna check that out? Well, I think I'm free after school tomorrow. Does that work for you? Tomorrow's perfect. So she's coming over to see your art? Dude, she is so into you! You think? Oh, I mean, duh, no one just comes to go and look at amateur art for just some random reason. Amateur? Augie, come on, come on, look at this. Where is my six pack? Oh my gosh, are you seriously still talking about Yes, I'm about still on the six pack. You don't have a six pack. I work pack. every single day for at least six hours well, to get this thing. I swear, you make up your six pack one more time and I... Daisy! Hey! Um, so nice to see you. Welcome to my little hideout. Um, you can go ahead and look anywhere you want. I have a few of my paintings hanging up. Uh, you can look through this again if you want. I don't know if you saw 
install everything. Uh, just remember, I'm still learning, so. Hmm. Oh, I really like this one. This is the same character, yeah? Yep, uh, same dumb character. I, you know, I did not, even though I put this one out here, so you can just keep that. Um, what caught your attention about it? Well, your use of charcoal is amazing. It makes it seem like I'm looking at a painting of a good friend, almost. The attention to detail and overall composition of the piece really make it unique. Oh, uh, really know your stuff, huh? I suppose. My parents were crazy art fanatics. Really? Yeah. They used to travel the world visiting art museums. I was always too young to travel with them, but they would always bring me something back. Like a postcard or a paperweight. Something really dumb and touristy. Looking back, the gifts were pretty lame, but I remember always looking forward to seeing what they got me. That's, that's really cool. Uh, do, do your parents still travel a lot? No. When I was 10, my mom passed away, and for a long time, my dad was too sad to even leave the house, let alone travel the world. But, you know, time passed and his love for art resurfaced. He ran local auctions that sold off one-of-a-kind pieces, and I would always go along with him, so... I guess, in a way, I took over my mom's role as his fellow art enthusiast. And so, when I started high school, it just kind of felt natural to throw myself into the art program, and, well, here we are. Um, uh, sorry about your mom. It's okay. It was a long time ago, so I've had time to heal. But, you know, sometimes I wonder, like, what would have happened if she hadn't died? Would I have traveled with them? Maybe I would have been so sick of art, I would hurl at the first sight of a paintbrush. <laughs> I guess it's stupid to think about a bunch of what ifs. No, it's, uh, it's not stupid at all. Hey, what's the story behind this one? Oh, uh, that one. I uh, just doodled in class, didn't think it was half bad, so I taped it in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the story of why I drew it? Um, Yes, uh, well, I've actually always wanted a motorcycle ever since I was little. Really? I would have never pegged you as someone who would want to ride a motorcycle. What, you, you can't tell between my bad boy tattoos and my various leather apparel? <laughs> that was stupid. Um, yeah, but actually, my brother owned a motorcycle, so I just remember thinking that he was the coolest dude in the world. Hmm. Where's your brother now? Oh, he went off to college, moved to New York after that, so, you know, kind of have a distance barrier thing going on, and him and my parents aren't exactly on the best of terms, so he doesn't come to visit very often, but, uh, yeah, when he lived here, he was my best friend, he used to take me to the park, go to the movies, but he owned a motorcycle, and, uh, you know, I just have wanted one ever since. It's too bad about your brother. But you know, you really have some talent. I've never seen someone so dedicated to something before. Yeah, well, um... Daisy, August, Mr. Forrester wants to see you in his office as soon as possible. Okay, we should go. They can't do this! Well, I'm afraid that's just the way things are. What about the art contest? Between the entrance fee and the admission price, we had to have made back some of the costs. Of course, but that was minimal compared to... Compared to what? The sports teams? Ms. Elliot, I have done... You teach kids valuable things. You teach them that art can make an impact and that we don't have to be afraid to have an opinion. Like, I've tried to talk to them, but... But what? They wouldn't listen? That's not good enough. They can't just take away the arts from they the school. They already have. Look, they're going to let me teach the class next semester, but between the cost of supplies and low enrollment, we're not going to have an arts program next year. Okay? I don't know, I'm just so sick of having things ripped away from me. August. Look, I I, I, didn't, I didn't tell you the whole story with my brother. It's not just 
that if him and my parents don't get along, they, they won't let him visit me. He's tried. I always stop him. I actually, I started painting because he took art class back in high school, so it was kind of like I still had a part of him around, but I guess that's gone now, too. What if it doesn't have to be? <laughs> Look, I, I don't know if you were listening to Forrester back there, but he seemed pretty certain that this was going to happen. For now? What if there is a way to make a bunch of money for the arts program so that they don't shut it down? What, you want like a car wash? No, like, like we need something big. What do you have in mind? Nothing. Yet. Here. Call me tonight and we can think of something. Okay. So, you got a number now. <laughs> the plot thickens. Can you, can you not right now? Just messing with you, okay? Calm down. I know, but just like, try to read the room. Okay, you know what? One day, you're gonna be sitting, and you're gonna be sitting with your lonely self, and you'll be like, oh man, I wish someone had, had told me that I said something stupid, or they make a comment about it, and you'll think, you know what? I really wish I had one accused crazy, famous zingers here. And guess what? They won't happen, because I won't be here. You are the worst. No, I, I totally get what you're saying. I understand, I understand. Uh, okay, um, how about this? How about we start fresh tomorrow? You know, just rest for a little bit, think it over, and then we'll talk tomorrow. All right? Okay, bye. Yo, Agi. We still going to the duck pond tomorrow? It's Thursday, the day that we go laugh at all those weird ducks. Yeah, you get psyched. Q, where'd you get a cat? Don't worry about it. He's gonna, he's gonna live with us for a little while. Right. Um, well, no, no, I don't, I don't think that we're gonna go to the duck pond. Uh, Daisy and I are gonna meet up, we're gonna talk a few things over again. Again? Come on, this is the second time and you haven't even made a single cent for the arts program. We're on the brink of something, okay? I can feel it. Just, how about this? We'll go to the duck pond next week. We'll do anything you want to do, all right? Does that sound okay? You promise? I promise. All right, but if you're wrong, you die. <laughs> I'll die. How? You'll find out. Oh, yes. Stop biting me, because he's going to find out. Yes, he's going to find out, Jojo. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he's going to find out. Oh, he's going to find out, Jojo. Oh, he's going to find out. He's going to find out. I need real friends. All I'm saying is that if all else fails, I'm totally willing to donate my lungs to science, so. I don't think you get money for donating your organs. Seriously? That's lame, why do people do it? You're asthmatic anyways. Why would you donate the worst part of your body? I said it was an idea, I didn't say it was a good one. Hey, what you drawing? That's nothing, it's stupid. Come on, no, let me see. it's stupid, it's stupid. All right, fine, gosh. Aw, it's one of those drawings about that same character. What's the paragraph at the bottom? Oh, I just wrote about this time that Quint, I mean, I made up a story about that character that is Completely fiction. It's so cute. And really well written. <laughs> yeah, the part about him going in the gopher hole is so funny. Yeah, it wasn't funny in real life, so. Um... Hey, I just had a really good idea. Yeah? Yeah, my dad, he knows a local publishing company. Ooh, little Miss Fancy over here. You are such a dork. <laughs> I thought it was funny, so. Anyways, you could illustrate and write little stories just like this and put them all together in one big children's book. And then we can make a bunch of money off of that and boom, the arts program is funded. <laughs> Daisy, that's, that's an amazing idea. If, if we pull this off, then Forrester will be so happy. Man, you're the best. I love working with you so much. Do you think you could get more of these like this uh, next week? Yeah, totally. I can, I can totally do this. I can't do this. Um, okay. Oh, uh, no, no, I just breathe. Just be funny. Just be funny. Uh, what's funny? What's funny? What's funny? Um, fart jokes. No. 
That's too juvenile. Political satire, too dangerous. Um, wait, why am I trying to be funny? I don't know what to do. <clears throat> Quentin! What? Come over here? What? I was in the middle of my workout. Quentin, name your top 10 funniest stories. 10? I'm gonna give you one. That's all you get. All right. All right. Ooh, where do I even start? Okay, um. Ooh, okay, so one time, I was at the duck pond, and I was waiting for you, because uh, you were at school. And I was like, okay, what can I do to pass the time? And I saw him, I'm looking around, and then mudslide, all of a sudden. I slide down and I fall into the river. But luckily, playing duck duck goose, as one does with four ducks and one goose. And oh my goodness, this duck August. Uh, but what I didn't notice is that while he was dragging me out, a stick had scratched me right there. And then it got infected. And that's why every time I bend my arm, it sounds like a locomotive. That, <laughs> that is perfect. Um, thank you. Yeah, no problem. So what do you need this for? Uh, you know, I just wanted to remind myself how awesome you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm awesome. All right, uh, well, I gotta go. Thank you, thank you so much, too. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I need real friends. So, what was the emergency you texted me about? I, uh, I finished. Uh, go ahead, read the first story. This is amazing! It's funny and cute and... Uh, we'll sell a ton of these for sure, I know it. That means so much, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for all the work you put into this. You're a really great guy. It was nothing, um... Anything for a friend. I mean, like, Mr. Forrester, because I totally did this for him. Well, hey, uh, I got some time before I gotta go home. You wanna go get something to eat? Yeah, sure. Uh, just let me pack up. I'll meet you down there. Cool. <clears throat> ah, geez, Quentin, you scared me. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot how sensitive you are. <laughs> Anyways, ready to go to the pond? Shoot, was that today? Uh, yes, it's Thursday. On Thursdays, we laugh at ducks. You know this. Uh, okay, um, could we, could we reschedule? All right, I'm, I'm kind of busy today. Sch you, you promised that we were gonna go! All right, Hugh, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. What the heck? Well, thank you so much for lunch, but I wish you'd let me pay for the date. This was a date? Yes? Oh, hold on. It's my dad. I'll be right back. It's a date. Jeez! Ah, Stop doing that! What are these? Um, they're just, uh, just stories. Uh, you know, like the, the ones you told me. And what were you planning to do with them? <sighs> Nothing, alright? Just... Don't worry about it. August, don't give me that. Come on, you at least owe me this. Fine. Daisy and I, we're gonna publish it as a children's book to, to raise funds for the art program. What, Augie? These are our stories, our memories. You cannot just sell them off to make a cheap buck. It's more complicated than that. I just, I didn't just want to make a cheap buck, all right? I just wanted to show you her just that- just wanted to what? to show Daisy that you could be the hero? August, these are our stories. I thought they meant something special to us and you don't even have the guts to tell me why you needed them? I don't know what you're saying. What I'm saying is I'm your best friend. And as soon as this Daisy girl shows up, I'm suddenly out of picture and you just ditch me. Q, that's not fair. What about our traditions, huh? Going to the duck pond, getting slushies, does all that mean nothing? Do you even know who you are anymore? Does she even know who I am? Does she know you have an imaginary friend? Does it even matter? Does it? Yes, it matters. I'm your best friend and she should know about me. 
Or do I not even matter to you anymore? Is that why, huh? Oh, shut up, Q. No, you shut up! Okay? Don't act like you're too good for me, okay? If you wanted me gone, you would have died a long time ago. Better late than never. You don't mean that. That's not how you feel. What could you possibly know about feelings? You're not real! More real than any of the friends that you have. Uh, just, just get out. Just leave, all right? I don't, I don't need you. Just go away forever. Hey, sorry. My dad just wanted to know when I'm going to be home. I think I have to leave soon, so... August, are you okay? Uh, it's, um, yeah, I'm fine. I just... Daisy, have you ever had an imaginary friend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. His name was... Sergeant Fluff. <laughs> yeah. He was half-stuffed animal and half-trained militia. <laughs> but, you know, he went missing in action when I was younger. <laughs> uh, but, like, um... Did you ever convince yourself that, that they were real? Well, of course. Isn't that kind of the whole point of having an imaginary friend? Yeah, I guess. Why do you ask? <clears throat> you know what? Uh, never mind. It's, it's stupid. Just forget it. Um... August, you can tell me. I'm not going to judge you. All right, um, I'll tell you, but you got to... You gotta promise that you won't think I'm crazy or, or weird or anything like that. Okay, so, uh, the reason I asked if you have ever had an imaginary friend is, uh, it's because I still have mine. His name is Quentin, and uh, I made him up when my brother left, and I can't live without him. Say something. And anything. I, I really don't know what to say. You know what? I, I I shouldn't have told you. I made him up when when I was eight and Curtis left. I was in a no, bad August. place. I just. It's okay. It is. Look, I really don't get your situation. And I also am not sure why you felt so alone that you had to have your imaginary friend for almost your entire life. But let me just say, you don't have to feel alone anymore because I'm gonna be here for you through thick and thin. And if you really feel like you need Quentin in your life, well, I may not understand, but I'm gonna fully support you. I really like you, August. You've made me happier than I've been in a long time. And I don't want to just throw that away. And so, if you still want to, I want to give this a chance. For real. And I want to give Quentin a chance, too. Quentin! Quentin, where are you? We need to talk. No. Quentin. Quentin, don't do this. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I can't hear you because I'm not real. Q, you know I didn't mean what I said, all right? I was... I was angry. Look. My... My life without you is... is dull, and I'm afraid that's all I'm ever gonna be if you're not here with me. I talked to Daisy Q. She's... She's trying to understand, she really is, but, 
I can't live without you. So will you stay? No. No? No. You were right, you don't need me. Yes, I do, Quentin, I do, I need no, you. No, you don't, you don't need me. Look, Augie, I've... I've seen you over the years, I've watched you get older. But now you're growing up. And I can't be there for you. Look, Augie, you're one of the most brilliant minds out there. Trust me, I would know. And you're gonna go on to do some amazing stuff. And I wish I could see it, but it's my time. And I think you and I both know that. Quentin, I... I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. I guess I'll miss you too. Thank you. Are those the books? No, it's just a box I found on the street. Yes, they're the books! Hey, how many copies do you think we've sold? Uh, well, you know, after I published that online preview, we sold about 350 in free sales. Oh, that's amazing! Forrester will be so proud! Pretty. Uh, wanna read it? Ah, duh. August. This is perfect. Oh, if you think that's good, let me show you the last page. Why? What's on the last page? 